video, I show you how I turned Taylor Swift's enchanted dress into a kitchen. I'm going to share some of the behind the scenes 3D work and show you how I used this dress as the inspiration for my design. Let's jump straight into the 3D. The size of this kitchen will be around four and a half meters across and three meters deep. I'm going to start by blocking out the layout of the kitchen. I placed a full length bench on this back wall and this is going to be the bench where all the action happens. And by that I mean where the stove and the sink and all the hard work gets done in the kitchen. I wanted to add an island but it felt really strange having this gap between the island and the wall. So I placed the bench against the wall and turned it into a peninsula instead. I need a spot where I can put all the full height cupboards. So the cupboards that are going to house like the fridge and the pantry cupboard and like the appliance cupboard. Oh, okay, well, that was easy. Now that the kitchen is all blocked out, it's time to add some life to the kitchen. And this is where Taylor's dress is going to come into play. I love the petal details on her dress and it's really inspiring me to create a kitchen with curves. The top portion of her dress is quite structured yet the bottom is really flowy so I'm gonna really try and strike that balance between curves and straight lines in this kitchen. In order to get that balance right, I used a combination of slim shaker doors and curves in all the right places. A curve over here and over there and also on top over here. Now let's talk about the colors on this dress. It's got that beautiful mauve beige color and I'm gonna try and replicate that color and use it on the cabinets. So what I do if I'm trying to pick a similar shade to an image, I'll go into my paint material editor and use the color picker tool and pick the color on the image that is closest to the color that I like. Then I'll use a slider to change the color to suit exactly what I'm looking for. If I need to try and match this color to a paint in real life, what I'll do is I'll go onto a paint supplier's website, which in this case is Dulux's website, look for the pinks page and try and match my color to an existing one. I wanted to create a seamless look, so I thought of maybe painting the walls and the ceiling the same colors as the cabinets, but then it looked a little bit bland. I love the color, but it definitely needs some texture. So I tried a Venetian plaster look with the same base color as the cabinets, and I reckon it works much better. The dress has a lot of sparkly round sequins all over, and the material that immediately came to my mind was terrazzo. So it just made sense to use terrazzo as the bench top. I went onto Polygon's website, which is a 3D asset site that you can download textures and models. I searched for terrazzo and came across this gorgeous one that had a warm base color with pink and brown chips. The chip size is a bit bigger than I want, so I'll change it so that the mapping is a bit smaller in 3D. I noticed that the base color of the dress is like a warm beigey color, and that automatically made me think of adding timber to the space. So I added light timber floorboards, timber bar stools, and a dark timber shelf. But the kitchen is definitely missing that sparkly effect, like something reflective. And without being too obvious and making like the whole kitchen chrome, Yes, this is what a chrome kitchen would look like. I decided to use a bit of restraint and I just made the tap chrome. I also added this aged bronze trim and recessed lighting to really add that lovely warm glow. The wall above the shelf definitely is screaming for some wall lights. Her dress has like a real soft dreamy feel and I wanted a wall light that was organic in shape and something that was going to emit like a diffused light. I found these beautiful opal wall lights that work so well and it ties in with the feel of the dress. I'm going to add a shelfie and some books. I really love decorating with food in the kitchen. It just makes the kitchen feel super homey so I decided to add some pomegranates on the bench, some hole and some open. On the other end I added an induction cooktop some boards and these beautiful tulips. I feel like the tulips are so fitting because the petals on the tulips are so similar to the petals on her dress. And this is the final look. So that was how I used her dress as inspiration for my design. 
Honestly, it was such an easy design to create because the inspiration was so beautiful already. I'm so tempted to use something really random for like my next inspiration design video. Something weird like spaghetti bolognese or like dirty shoes, something strange like that. Leave me a comment, give me some ideas. I'd love to hear what you can come up with. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye.